So it's been a while since I pulled out this one and something fun happened this week I wanted to, to share with you. But this is what 73 of our clients came up with at one of our conferences in, in 2013. So nine years ago that these would be the signs of a market bubble, 10 qualitative, 10 quantitative, luxury car, and I'm going to say green, not a bubble. So maybe your staff's got a nicer car than you do, uh, but I'm saying no. Multiple homes for everyone. I just did a podcast for Bigger Pockets that supposedly has 2 million people that are flipping homes, or at least listening in, and a lot of them flipping homes. Outlandish parties. In the last cycle, there were some amazing and some very inappropriate parties, one that had Jimmy Buffett. Creative mortgages, they do not exist. We fixed that. Truck stop feasibility, yes. Lazy underwriting. You may say no or yes, but when somebody says you need to win this deal, that's a yes. Some sort of a paradigm shift. Last time it was urban, this time it's work from home, booming, which is something I believe in. Booming real estate careers, absolutely. Reality TV shows for our industry, absolutely. Excessive investments, buying more lots than I need, absolutely. Um, on the quantitative side, we don't have high supply. So that is very different this time. We have affordability problems, we have falling demand, falling sales, falling stock prices, rising home equity cash out, which is starting to surge, by the way. A number, you know, more than five, more than 10 people saying they're going to be in the top five in their market. No problems again with the mortgage industry. Historically high margins. Uh, and the developer profit disappears. It basically means I'm, I'm going to develop it for my normal home building profit. So we're now at eight to 10 on the qualitative and, and eight to 10 on the quantitative. And I think the survey just said, you don't even need to ask this question anymore because all of you agree that um, we're in some sort of a bubble here.